Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Leia and I do all things lifestyle, motherhood, and creativity. And today we're gonna be hitting on motherhood. I feel like this topic and this question is the most frequent one that I get. Girl, what did you use your first year? What did you feel like was like essential? What should I be putting on my registry? I'm gonna drop some gems about some of the things that was most useful for me and my family. So before I move any further, I think it's important for me to give a disclaimer and also just a little backstory about who I am and the type of lifestyle that we live. I think that'll help give you a better understanding as to why we chose certain things and some of the things that we rate as a priority on the top of our list. I am a mom of course and i am my wife and we have a 19 month old we are entrepreneurs and that requires us to travel all the time so we needed some items that would help fit that and to help kind of make life a little bit easier for us these are in no particular order it's just based off of how i listed them in my notes and this is how i give them to everyone else that asks me i literally send them this note I even have a note that has all the links. I literally just copy and paste and send it to that person. So I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Let's get right into it. So one of our essentials that we use and that we live by to this day have been our diaper choice. There was a period of time where our son would just be a little bit fussy and we couldn't figure out why. And so as a parent, you know, you try all these things. One of those things were we felt like his diapers were just uncomfortable and that they were getting, he could feel when they were full. So we did some research and we came across Coterie and we kind of compared some of the materials and just the reviews from other people and we decided to give it a go. And it's been, we've been rocking with them ever since. Like I said, my son is now 19 months and it's been great. We love the material. He doesn't go through as many diapers. You are gonna pay a few more cents than you would the regular diapers. I think it's worth it if you're not going through as many. We get our diapers shipped to us whenever we need them. That's one of the favorite, my favorite things. We get them in bulk at our door. I love that. And they also have diaper wipes. The diaper wipes are great. They're unscented and they're thick and they really get the job done without using a bunch. They're not super thin, you're not ripping through them. There's many pros and cons to Coterie diapers. One of the cons being the only store that we know of that has them is Whole Foods. If you don't have a Whole Foods near you and you happen to run out of diapers, it may be a little tricky, but you can always just go and grab another um, brand. I would suggest you go ahead and look it up and check it out if you get the chance. If you're like, I don't wanna commit to like a full subscription, just go to Whole Foods if you have a Whole Foods near you and just order, just grab a box off the shelf, a pack off the shelf and test them out. I'd love to hear how you feel about them, okay? Another one of our essentials, which is probably my favorite, it's also the one we have to stop and give the most tutorials and answer the most questions about because it's one of those things that you see all the time and that we use every day. And that is the Duna car seat and stroller. I literally don't know where to start with this thing. Okay, so it's the only system that is a car seat and stroller in one. And it's been super easy transitioning. I mean, like flying has been like a breeze. We don't have to bring a separate stroller and like a car seat. It's just the stroller and a car seat in one. And it's just made traveling easy. I would say one of the cons with the Duna is your child is gonna outgrow it. We have transitioned out of the Duna permanently. He has a whole separate car seat and a whole separate stroller. Our family members do have the Duna because they pick him up and it's easy for them to use and transition him out and things like that. So it still has its use. We're definitely gonna use it for the next kid if we choose to have one. It's very easy to assemble and it's very easy to clean. Um, and you can buy all the parts separate. They have different cool color parts that go, you can attach onto the hood. And I love that thing, you guys. If you're looking for something that is minimal and efficient, this is definitely it. I did have a C-section and it was still fine for me to use. So definitely look into it, check out reviews. We've watched and read so many different reviews. That's all I gotta say about the Duna. The next thing that was an essential for me as a mom who was breastfeeding was a wireless pump. 
as I mentioned before, we are entrepreneurs. Specifically, I'm a photographer, and so I decided that I wanted to try out the LV breast pumps. And when I say these things were game changers, they were game changers for me personally and just for moms in general. I could literally have them on while I'm doing a photo shoot or while I am at a rehearsal. Whatever that looked like for me, it was easy for me to pump and multitask. When I was driving to Detroit for uh, two hours, I could pop those on and not worry about like having to pull over and all those things. They were easy to clean. They did not replace my hospital grade pump, but they were a good middleman for me to use. It was easy to travel with. It was like one of my favorite things. The cons that I would say um, these had were, they didn't suck as much as like a, a baby would or even the hospital grade pump. And so you just have to be mindful of that I would not use this pump as my only pump or my only source of getting breast milk. I mean, you could try it, but I think because I had used the hospital grade as well, it knew my breast, my boobs kind of knew like, you can get more out of here. I need you to pull a little more. So the LV didn't do that, but it did get out what it needed to get, or if I just needed to relieve, um, it was great. And they're super minimal and efficient, my two favorite things. So yeah, definitely check out those. I know there are tons of other different types of wireless pumps. I did choose the LV at the time. It was between the LV and the Willows. I know there aren't many differences between some of them, but it's kind of like what you, a lot of this stuff, you kind of take a chance and you take a risk on anything you buy as a first time parent because you never know what's gonna work for you. Everybody's story is different. So this is what I used and I live by it. I still have it in the cabinet. Um, I'm still gonna use it. I will say that it is on the pricier side when it comes to pumps, but if you're like me and you, it's a necessity and an essential, then it's worth it. When I wasn't pumping, I did breastfeed and I mean, just like most other women, your boobs are sore and hurting. They're rubbing against your shirts. Like when someone comes in to hug you, you're like, Ugh. and so um, I needed a solution to where it could collect my the little bit of milk so that it wasn't leaking through, but also something that wasn't rubbing against my nipples. I found these Medela nipple shields, you guys. I had tried some of the other types of nipple shields and they just, I don't get how, what people were using them for. Like it just didn't do it for me. And so I found these and they were game changers for me. Your nipples aren't rubbing against anything and they also have cups to where they collect any excess milk. The con with these, however, were if you moved a certain way, some of the milk would spill out of the holes. It's reusable, I didn't use nipple pads. They were just yucky to me and also I just kept throwing them away, kept having to buy more, throwing them away. So these were great. Um, thing for me to use that I could clean easily and better for the environment and they did the job way better than the pads. Another essential that we use even now, not just the first year of motherhood and parenthood was our choice in baby monitors. I'm not gonna say the specific name because it's so many things out there and I've heard so many things about privacy being leaked in those monitors, but I will share with you some of the features that we looked for and that we really loved about this specific system. A lot of people were getting the, um, I don't know what they're called, but the foot monitors that help monitor like heat and baby's heartbeat and our monitor does that. It monitors sleep cycles, it monitors heat, uh, in the room and moisture in the room. It also monitors the heartbeat per, uh, heart rate per seconds or however, you know, heartbeat, heart rate, um, all those things. And it was really useful. Another cool thing that we loved about that was Eric could chime in if we weren't in the same spot. Let's say I was here with our son and Eric was away in New York. He could chime in and get in and talk to Enzo. Um, and same with anybody we pretty much gave access to, they could come in and talk to Enzo. Um, and so we really loved that. I don't know too much about all the other monitors, but we knew specifically this one had all the things that we really wanted and really um, liked within a monitor. Another one of our favorite essentials in the first year of parenthood was this app called, it used to be formerly known as the Wonder Years, but it is now called the Wonder Weeks. It answered a lot of questions that as first time parents, we just didn't have the answers to. Um, 
and specifically as it pertains to like growth spurts and why the baby may be crying and things to look out for in different stages um, and it was so helpful we would always refer to this when we were looking just or just trying to figure out what was happening with Enzo and his development stage it's like it would tell us when he was picking up colors it would tell us when he was like what he should be doing at what time like at when he should be following our our movements across the room like all those kind of things and it's really cool as a parent to kind of look get into your baby's head just a little bit and see what they're thinking, what they're doing. But it also provides some type of comfort when the baby's crying and you're like, I don't know what's going on. And you go to your app and it's like, mm, they're overstimulated because this is happening and this is happening. And so they're a little more cranky. Um, and also they're going through a leap. So that's why they're not sleeping as well at night like they used to. Um, and so it was really helpful and it helps you track all those things um, in that app you create a profile and it's been great guys okay it has a little diary in there where you can add photo you can add notes um, you can add favorite toys you can add a sleeping schedule whatever you want to put in there I thought that was little, I thought that was kind of cute so this app was great definitely check it out and um, it is $5.99 so um, check it out and kind of see if you like it I don't know what other apps are out there but this app was really great for us Last but not least, another one of our essentials were the Love Every subscription. Toys can be overwhelming for me and just clutter and all those things. And so I wanted to find toys. And also like, I don't always know what's best for the kid. So um, I wanted to find something that was going to not only be a toy, but also be helpful for brain and motor skill development and Love Every was the perfect solution. Um, and like I mentioned before, we're all about convenience. And so the fact that they deliver every month or every three months, sorry, um, and during every new stage of life was amazing. Like we didn't have to go out to the store and like search for things, but they knew exactly what he needed and what he was going to be interested in and what he should be working on or just developing. And it literally was on point. Like he was interested in, certain, in what they sent and he was kind of figuring it out and it was great like to not have to think too much about that. Like we're not experts in that. Uh, but we did become experts as time went on because they gave like informational cards and it told us a lot about what he was going through and how, what these toys were going to do for him. And I also appreciated that um, it just, the toys were minimalist. Like they were, most of them are like wooden and I don't know, it was very simplistic. And so I appreciated that. Um, and they also sell Love Every in Target. I don't know about any other other stores, but they also have like developmental toys in Target and you can go and it'll tell you like the ages and things like that too. So I love Love Every and it's a subscription so you can gift it to someone, which is really cool too. So guys, that is the end of this video. I'm pretty sure I missed a bunch of essentials, but these were some of the key things that were crucial to our efficiency and convenience and flow as a family during our first year at, into parenthood and with our first kid, um, it made not only our, my husband and our lives easier, but I think it made our son's life a lot easier and flow better as well. And so if you have any questions or you wanna know anything more about some of the things that I mentioned, please comment below. I'm going to add all of these links below and hopefully you'll go check them out and they'll be useful for you. For you. And come back and tell me, I wanna hear if something worked out for you or even if you have something better let me know okay because i don't have all the answers either sway um and so these are definitely things i'm going to go into the next pregnancy with unless something changes um these are like my live buys so thanks again for watching um and i will see you in the next video bye